It's another horrible, gray, rainy, cold, miserable day here on the West Coast. Just ignore the blue sky and the sunshine and the flowers and the cherry blossoms. That's green screen. Yeah, just, just keep in mind that it's a really nasty day here on the West Coast. No, it's not. It's beautiful. So today I am picking up where we last left off. I'm going to open up the cockpit and delve into getting the port side fuel tank installed. The starboard side is already in. Uh, I'm going to put the port side in. Once the port side is in, I can put the exhaust in and hook up all these various bits and bobs that need to be bits and bobbed to make the engine run. So we're getting very close. Uh, I managed to buy some uh, parts that I needed, fittings for the, the tankage. And uh, so with that, I hope I've got everything that I need to uh, have a successful day. So let's get at it. There's always little gotchas when you're working on a boat. It's not like working in a shop where you have tools at hand and parts are easy to access. This is the fuel fill for the port side tank. Holes already cut, and I've uh, uh, put some epoxy on the on the wooden side so that you know in case there's any leakage at all, it won't rot. Um, so the hole is the size of the fill cap. And I have an adapter hose barb that goes into the fill cap. But look what they've done. With the uh, plug catch. It's like a bathroom drain, I suppose. But they put the bolt right in the way of where this thing has to screw in. Now they could have put it way up high, because this is a taper fit. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but as I turn that in, it will get tighter and tighter and tighter until I can't turn it anymore. But I don't know if it's uh, worth re-drilling that. But it probably will. In other news, the geese have left their calling cards, their business cards, all over my boat. So, it's very neighborly of them. I always appreciate it when people let me know they've been on the boat. And nevertheless, moving ahead. It's little things like this that make uh, boat work slower than it should be. But whatever, I enjoy it. So let's get on with it.
the fuel tank successfully installed and I'm currently working on the fuel fill. For some reason it doesn't want to sit flat to the deck and I've got to figure out why. I don't know if it's the hose in between the two uh, barbs, the tank barb and deck fill barb, but there's something holding it up. But right now it's getting late in the afternoon and I don't know if you can see but the tide is running out which means that if I don't get going soon I'll be pulling the dinghy through the muck. So I'm going to call it a day and uh, get back at it, at it tomorrow when I'm a little fresher and got a little bit more energy. So see you tomorrow.